all eyes are on the Nintendo Switch heading into 2018. It had a killer first year with an amazing launch with Zelda Breath of the Wild and constant first party and third party support throughout the year. Less than an entire year into the console's lifespan and it arguably has better games than the Wii U ever had. We have Doom 2016, Skyrim, LA Noir, Rocket League, Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Breath of the Wild, so many more. So all eyes are on the Switch heading into 2018 and everyone's curious whether it will be able to keep up the pace. Hey guys, I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop and I made a video talking about three reasons why I think the Nintendo Switch will not succeed in 2018. Now to counteract that video, I'm making one about three reasons why I do think it will succeed. Now, unlike the video about reasons I don't think it will succeed, I actually believe these reasons. I didn't really think any of the things I was saying in the 2018 reasons video would actually end up working because the Switch has just been on such a roll recently and all signs are pointing towards it doing better than ever in 2018. However, I made that video just laying out some points that I thought were interesting and how the Switch could fail in 2018. But to counteract that, here are three reasons why I think it'll succeed. Number one, the third party support so far has been insane. We have gotten so many games, more than the Wii U ever had really. And a couple of the big companies, like really big ones like Bethesda and Rockstar with Take Two have actually started porting some of their games over and it's amazing. We've gotten LA Noir, which while it isn't Rockstar's best game by any means, it's the start of a relationship that hopefully can bring something greater like even GTA 5 or something like that. And then with Bethesda and Panic Button, Panic Button is like the god studio by the way, right? Like they have ported over Rocket League, Doom 2016, and both those ports have been amazing. I'm sure they've done more, I just don't know them all. But anyway, Bethesda and Panic Button were able to port over Doom 2016 onto a handheld. And not only that, it runs fine. I mean, it's obviously doesn't have the best graphics or the best frame rate, but it's on a handheld. And they've said on both of those that the reception has been positive. Pretty much all third party support has been met by positive feedback except for EA, which decides to port over FIFA and then gets upset when the buggy, glitchy version of a terrible game doesn't sell well. Like, what were they thinking? But anyway, third-party support has been amazing so far. We already have more pledged for 2018 with companies such as Koei Tecmo and Konami, so I'm excited to. So third-party support seems like something that's only going up. First party support. We already know of two big games coming later. Now, granted, we don't know if these are coming 2018 or 2019, but we know that Pokemon and Metroid Prime 4 are coming. If just one of those games drops in 2018, that's amazing. Granted, we know even more big games such as Kirby, Yoshi, and we haven't even had that big end of the year direct that normally takes place in about January that details pretty much a bunch of the big games coming up for that entire year. And the first party support has just been so stellar this year that it's, it's kind of hard to believe that it would slow down in 2018. My third and final reason why the Nintendo Switch will do so well in 2018 is the Virtual Console. I am so excited for the Virtual Console, it's unreal. Actually, the fact that Nintendo hasn't put the Virtual Console on Switch is insane. Virtual Console was never something we were, we, we like, hyped up as much as it is right now, and I know why. It's because everyone wants to be able to play these games on the go. Super Mario 64, even though it has a DS game, the original on the go. And that's not even including all those other great games that were from handheld consoles like Game Boy Advance, DS, the other home consoles, NES, SNES, N64, a possible GameCube virtual console, Smash Bros. Melee on the Switch, Super Mario Sunshine on the Switch. We could have the holy trinity of Mario games. We could have 64 Sunshine and Odyssey all on the Switch. It's actually insane how hyped I am for Virtual Console. And the fact that it's not out already on the Switch, or the fact that we don't even know anything about it except that it's coming, means one of two things. It's going to be 
amazing, like they have been working constantly porting over games in the background, or they haven't really done anything about it and they're just like, ah, we'll do it later. And I'm just so hoping it's the former and not the latter, because if it's like a weak virtual console with like only like 20, 20 mediocre games at the start and no like actual real experiences, like it's all Mario Bros and like really not that good games like I know Mario Bros is an amazing game don't get me wrong but I mean I wouldn't you rather have something with more depth if all they did is just download a couple of NES ROMs and just plop them onto the switch and call it the virtual console I'm gonna be pretty pissed luckily I'm assuming that they have put so much time and effort into bringing these games over to the switch we're not not necessarily effort but they have brought so many games over to the switch and the virtual console will really be a powerhouse hopefully that is what happens I mean once again there's no way to really tell, but I hope that that is what occurs. Hopefully that is what happens. I mean, once again, there is no way to really tell, but hopefully that is what happens. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to watch my more pessimistic video, why the Switch will not do well, please, you can go watch that. It'll be linked in the description and at the end of this video. Go drop a like on that video because it kind of got bombarded with dislikes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You are all the best. Hopefully the Switch does do well in 2018. I hope it does. I think it will. So only time will tell. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And peace out.